So, what would a better choice look like when we are making these choices? I'm looking at all of this and, you know, some cupcakes have, you know, nuts and chocolate and caramel. This one right here just only has a half a cookie. Mm -hmm. And we have cheesecake, it's plain. And, you know, so the list goes on. But if we had to just make a choice, because in my mind, I'm saying, well, perhaps this is a little bit better than cake because typically cake has icing okay. and then or even if it's a pound cake we are slicing it right. you know it's not normally pre-sliced right. we're slicing it so we're not necessarily controlling the size um, because we're at a, a function you right. know we're not in the comfort of our home oftentimes so my thinking is and my thinking may be wrong <laughs> but my thinking is well it's I, I know what size it is, you know, and I already see what's on it. Right. And, you know, we know that the more you have on it, the more calories we're adding. Exactly. So, is there anything with the options that are out there that you would keep in mind that might be the, the best option or the better option, as you said? Right, yeah. So, one thing that I tell my clients all the time is do not mix carbs and fat. You can help it. Okay, mm -hmm. but if you actually don't know what consists or has a lot of carbs and fat in it, you're just basically guessing, you know. So that's when nutritional information you have to be more informed about what you're just consuming in general. Mm -hmm. I know from me just playing around in the kitchen, me trying to make cookies here and there. If you're making cookies from scratch, you, you need some butter, right? You need some flour. You need these things, but that's majority carbs with fat, you know? So in um, a situation where you had a family function or an event where you see an assortment of desserts, the best choice would always be kind of the plainer choice, okay? Why? Because like you alluded to, um, all the extra things on top is gonna make, of course, the cupcake or the cheesecake taste a little bit better, right? But it's nothing is free, you know? But some people say a cupcake is a cupcake or a cheesecake is a cheesecake. But in all reality, I can tell you for 100% fact, this plain cheesecake that's right here in this corner might not taste better than this one with the pecans on top, right? But at the end of the day, this might be a better choice if I'm somebody who's basically watching um, I'm on a fat loss journey or weight loss journey. So when it's all said and done, I never want you to deprive yourself from these things that you like, okay? And keep in mind, um, as a rule of thumb, how many times are you put into a situation where you're able to have these things? It's not gonna happen every week, it's not gonna happen every month. It might happen around Thanksgiving time, it is fall, y'all, so you already know we're in the holiday season where we're gonna have a little bit more options or this um, to be at our disposal. But just make sure that when you're in this situation, make the better choice have fun but just know okay tomorrow i'm gonna go ahead and make better choices when it comes to what i put in my mouth because i had this let's say you bring three of these home okay let me go ahead and eat one or maybe two right but tomorrow i'm not gonna have a cupcake first you're saying oh man well i got some leftovers i got this last little cupcake i might as well finish it off right and then you push in the back your goal day day after day because you're basically allowing yourself to make it happen you know but also one thing I like to tell my clients is if you don't have access to it, you can't eat it, right? So if you already know that you're somebody who gets weak at the knees when it comes to ice creams and cupcakes and cookies, if you don't have it in your house, you can't have it. Simple. So have fun when you're out and about at these family functions or events. But after that, don't bring it home with you. Simple. So I'm hearing you say, enjoy. Enjoy. Have the happiest fall, y'all, that you can. Go out, enjoy, partake, but don't do too much. So if you're gonna take one of these treats, take one of these treats. <laughs> one. <laughs> one and if you're gonna take one of these treats, take one of these treats and leave the rest where you got it. Don't bring it home. It's nice, it's visually appealing to have all this added on, but think about some options. If there is an option for you not to have as much added on, go with the option of not as much added on. Take one and then be done. Right, like not even to cut you off, but looking at this assortment, me naturally, the ex-fat boy in me, is looking at this s'mores cupcake 
and this is looking amazing. Like I want to eat this right now if I could, right? But I know now that I know about you know a little bit about what to put in the human body, right? This might not be better than me having something more simple, such as this. You know, so just make logical choices. But when it comes to food, a lot of people don't think about what I'm gonna eat. They just look at something and say, "I'm gonna eat this because it looks good." Well, a lot of people don't put any thought when it comes to eating just in general. So if you actually think about it and you're more aware about what you're eating, you're going to be good. You're going to make better choices nine times out of ten. You heard it all. You heard it from the expert. He gets results. Check him out. Reset by Dr. Trey Hunter. But don't forget Deb's Divine Desserts because guess what? Dr. Hunter said you can have it. Just one. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Hunter. Thank you. And once again, um, Divine Desserts, one thing I want you to keep in mind is she makes a lot of low-carb options too. If you want it, you just got to go ahead and ask for it. Okay?